Hi guys, it's your girl Dani again for GT Fiesta on GT Caribbean. Today we are at Digital IMAX for the Atlantic Ultimate Field Trip. This is the teacher's screening, so we're gonna watch a couple movies, interview a couple teachers. Let's see what's going on. Let's go. It's Danny here and we're at IMAX for Universal Ultimate Field Trip. This was the teacher's screening. So we have a lovely teacher here with us today. Hi, Dan. Hi, um, my name is Danny. What's your name? Hi, I'm Charlene. Hi, Danny. Hi, Charlene. So where do you teach? Union Claxton Bay Secondary. Okay, and what subject do you teach? I teach business, principles of business. I'm a business teacher. Okay, so how did you hear about the Universal Ultimate Field Trip at IMAX today? I was told that the tutor, the Trinidad and Tobago Unified Teachers Association, was having their convention here at IMAX so that teachers in the daily development were to come down and enjoy the experience. Okay, and we saw like three interesting movies inside. So what did you think about these short films? Um, they were fantastic. I loved the permaculture idea. That was great. The second, the one that had the most impact on me, however, was Yellow and Green. Um, looking at the two people who are displaced individuals in our society and how they express themselves so well but then still have so many problems in terms of integrating into the society and becoming productive citizens. So you know it just made me think of all the people I see all the time who walk about you know and like what we can do to help them. What exactly is the reason? What part of their intellect does not help them to integrate and how we can help them? And how would you say these films helped you as a teacher? What would you take away to now give to your students? Oh, I think it would be wonderful for students to see um, Yellow and Green and the um, film on permaculture. And I think the younger students whom I don't teach, like forms one to three, they would love to see the journey of the monarch butterfly. <laughs> Okay, so we're here again with another fabulous teacher. So let's find out what he thinks about the whole experience. Hi, I'm Nani. What's your name? Nani Motilal, Mount Hope Secondary. Mount Hope Secondary. And what subject do you teach? Theatre arts, performing arts. Oh, great. Nice. So what do you think? What, did, what was your experience with the films and, you know, what we just saw inside? Um, with so many. I'll start with um, the, the, the last one, um, Green and Yellow. It touches on contemporary social issues that Trinidadians we tend to just turn a blind eye to. There are many homeless people. Drug addiction does not just affect people on the streets. It affects a lot of families, have a lot of kids, their parents in rehab, in jail, for different offenses related to it. So it's something that we as a society, we need to stop turning a blind eye, eye to. And this film, it very forcefully and in a, a brutal way in a brutal way, it, um, it forces you to look at it and um, ask yourself some serious questions. What are we doing as a society, as governments, as ministries, as teachers, as educators to try and improve that situation, you know? Right. And as a teacher, as a performing arts teacher, do you see any way in which the films could help you? What, would, what did you take away from the films that you can now give to your students? And to you? uh, definitely, I mean, there are a lot of films, I think a lot of good ideas there about drugs and um, plays and movies. And the thing is, marketing of, of, of these, of these um, performances to students, to the secondary school students, to create awareness, to create a culture of, okay, cause and effect. This is where you end up if you take certain steps. And um, yeah, there are a lot of, there's a lot of food for thought that we can use, a lot of ingredients to, to market films concerning drugs and, and what happens. I mean, kids watch them all the time in Hollywood, but I don't think like they have the idea that, okay, that's in Hollywood, that can't happen to me. And what we need to get out there is to get a lot more local content, showing more local stories like this, what we just saw in, in Green and Yellow, to show, okay, this is home. This is not something you just look on a movie screen. 
Okay, so we're here with another one of our educators in Trinidad and Tobago, and we want to find out what she thinks about the films that we just saw. So, hi, I'm Dani. What's your name? Shalian Jacob. Hi, Shalian. What school do you teach? Tunafuna Secondary. Any particular subject? What subject? French and Spanish. Oh, so your yeah, languages. Yeah, modern languages. Yikes. Okay, so, um, modern languages, the films we just saw, Flights of the Butterfly and all of these things, Explain to me how, as a teacher and teaching languages, how you think that these films could impact on your teaching. Oh, well, not so much as a language teacher, but teaching boys, especially the last two movies, the local movie. Funny enough, recently we were just talking about conservation and everything that's happening with the budget, inflation, that kind of thing. So the movies were really hitting the spot in terms of the things that we have to deal with on a normal basis with children in school, you know. And especially last movie, Yellow and Green, that one, I feel like, you know, is something we would definitely want to bring our male students especially to see, to, you know, hear from people who are going through that kind of hard life on the streets and that kind of thing. So it was a different take on the normal kind of movies. We would see, you know, the Hollywood blockbuster kind of thing, you know, even the film festival movies come from a different angle. So these ones definitely more educational. And we, well, I have my other teachers from school here. We definitely see ourselves bringing each other back to see some of these movies, you know, totally different from what they're accustomed to. So I'm guessing Digital IMAX is doing a really good thing here by showing these educational films. As we've heard from these teachers, it impacts on a different level. So, Shalyan, why the boys though? Why would you say you'll bring the boys more than the girls to see these films? Because teaching is predominantly a female profession in Trinidad. I don't know about the rest of you, right? But um, a lot of our boys do get to hear from males. And so that's where the angles from these movies, it was male people. So you had the um, Butterfly movie, the first movie, that was a male scientist who did his life's work based on that kind of thing. And then the second one what about, was about permaculture. And again, it was about males. There was one lady, but males talking about the earth and, you know, getting green and depend like getting away from this dependency on government and then the last one again with the men who wish their life had gone differently so hearing it from a male would really make a difference you know okay so now we're here with one of the coordinators at digital imax this is stacy and stacy is going to answer my very hard questions about this entire process hi stacy how are you doing today i'm awesome okay so what how did y'all first of all come up with the idea of the whole universal field trip educational films what was what was the thought process that went into this okay so i'm actually employed with imax over six years now started from since the beginning and the program actually originated in 2012 and from since then now it's been in the process so as time goes by, goes by, they um, spread the word out to schools. I want to reach out to all the schools in Trinidad and Tobago to actually have them come in and experience this great experience, right? Because we're the only IMAX in the Caribbean, right? 40 feet by 70 feet is a very big screen, I must say. <laughs> you know, so it's actually to educate. You know, the educational um, films that we have is ready to reach out to kids, you know, because they gain a lot of stuff from it. Like this movie that we saw, which is the Fly to Butterflies, they probably do not in the curriculum this year, right? So it will add, it will add to them. And how do you all go about choosing the films that you all are going to show for the, um, the festival? Actually, um, we screen the movies, right? So that's like a more background job. And then we send it out to our sponsor. And once they agree with it, you go ahead. Great. What is the hope? What are you hopeful for to um to accomplish by you know running the festival? Actually, what I want to accomplish is so more schools to get on board, to gain this experience, right, and for teachers to get more involved, right, and bring the kids out to experiences. 
So it's not just a field trip to IMAX. I mean, IMAX is cool, yes. But it's very educational and it's fun, guys. It is, trust me. So if I was a teacher, which I hope to be sometime soon, I would bring my class. I heard you mention sponsors, Stacey. So you want to shout out some of your sponsors? Okay, so I would like to big up Atlantic Ultimate Feature, right? Which is um, Atlantic is the main sponsor for the program. Um, the CEO, which is Ingrid Jara, and the marketing director, Christina. Um, all of us actually did this, it's not I alone. You know, we came together and come about with this. So, all I just want to say is so teachers so just come on board to the booking. My number is 290-2281. Don't hesitate to call me. I work Monday to Friday between 9 to 5. So we can find you here if we yes. need you. Yes. So we can find Stacy here, here for bookings. Okay, Stacy, thank you for taking okay. the time out to speak with us. Most welcome. All right, guys, so we've had a full day. We saw some nice movies. We talked to a couple of teachers and we freeze in. So we're getting ready to roll up out to Digital IMAX. Bye, guys. See you next time on GC Fiesta. Deuces.